Hello everyone, Danny Brisson from uh, Freedom News, no, FNL Freedom News. Welcome to my show. Uh, so at first, don't hesitate to, uh, to, to click on the links on different platforms. We're a freedom network uh, of news on many platforms because censorship is on the rise in Canada. And today we'll talk about a big, 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 big mistakes that Trudeau did that was going to Brussels, try to teach democracy to European people. And it didn't went well for him. Uh, at least three people uh, lecture him about what was a democracy and if he could have some credibility at all to talk about it. So without waiting more, we'll show you What, what are these people? Now, the first one will be, will be, will be Mr. Mr. Mislav Kolaskuzik, PM Trudeau in recent months under your quasi-liberal boots, Canada has become a symbol of civil rights violations. It begins with him, and uh, there's a subtitle in, the, in his speech, so Let's listen to it, to this guy from Croatia. Poštovane kolege, dragi građani, premijeru Trudo. Sloboda, pravo izbora, pravo na život i zdravlje. Pravo na rad za mnoge od nas to su temeljna ljudska prava za koje su milioni građana Europe i svijeta položili svoje živote. Za obranu naših prava i prava naše djece koje smo stjecali stoljećima, mnogi od nas, uključujući i mene, spremni smo riskirati vlastitu slobodu i položiti vlastite živote. Nažalost, danas su među nama i oni koji gaze te temeljne vrijednosti. Kanada, nekada simbol modernog svijeta, je pod va vodstvom vaše kvazi liberalne čizme proteklih mjeseci postala simbol kršenja temeljnih ljudskih prava i građanskih sloboda. Gledali smo kako konjima gaze Žene, kako samohranim roditeljima blokirate bankovne račune da ne mogu platiti djeci školovanje, da ne mogu platiti lijekove, da ne mogu platiti račune za struju i vodu, da ne mogu platiti rate kredita za svoje domove. Za vas su to možda liberalne metode. Međutim, za mnoge građane svijeta to je diktatura najgore vrste. Budite uvjereni da građani svijeta, udruženi, mogu zaustaviti svaki režim koji želi uništiti slobodu građana bilo bombama, bilo štetnim farmaceutskim proizvodima. Hvala. So, a powerful message, message for this man. And the methods we have witnessed may be liberal to you, but to many citizens over the world, it seemed like a dictatorship of the worst kind. And he talked, of course, about the Freedom Convoy 2022, as you know it, and um, what, what Trudeau did by freezing the bank accounts. So you see the impact, the diplomatic impact it's, it seems to have. And uh, this guy probably knows some people from Croatia in Canada, maybe that suffer from that. So Trudeau destroyed the, the faith in the, our, our banking system in Canada, and it will be hard to take it back. So let's hear a second people, second person. So now, Mr. Bernard Zimniak from Germany. I try to prevent the speech, try to prevent the speech of Canada CA PM Trudeau in the U U European Parliament because they recently trampled on the core values of democracy. So let's hear this guy.
President, honorable members, we keep discussing here our European democratic values that underpin all of our actions. I worked in Syria and Pakistan for many years as a diplomat and therefore value democracy very highly. Now, the invitation to Canadian PM Justin Trudeau is an invitation to someone who's been trampling on democratic rights, who's been uh, cracking down on people who protested against disproportionate corona measures. People who were supporting a non-sanctioned movement coming under criticism. So clearly the values of uh, democracy being uh, despised uh, by this individual. Let us not give someone like this any speaking time in this house of democracy. So yes, another guy talking about democracy. This guy is uh, a person who worked to implement democracy. And for him, it's clear that Trudeau doesn't represent democracy. Unfortunately, the enemies of democracy are also in the rise in Europe, as the reaction of my colleagues clearly shows. So what's the credibility of Justin Trudeau trying to teach about democracy, not in Canada, but everywhere in the world right now? Think about it. So we'll finish that, this, this little segment, with Christine Anderson. And Christine Anderson, her message was, was clear. Mr. Trudeau, you are a disgrace to any democracy. Oh, let's hear what her message was. And you'll see it's a punch one. It's clear. Let's listen to her. I will now give the floor to Ms. Christine Anderson for her point. Thank you. Based on Article 195, out that it would have been more appropriate for Mr. Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada, to address this House according to Article 144, an article which was specifically designed to debate violations of human rights, democracy, and the rule of law, which is clearly the case with Mr. Trudeau. Then again, a prime minister who openly admires the Chinese basic dictatorship who tramples on fundamental rights by persecuting and criminalizing his own citizens as terrorists just because they dared to stand up to his perverted concept of democracy should not be allowed to speak in this house at all. Mr. Trudeau, you are a disgrace for any democracy. Please spare us your presence. Thank you. So is it clear? Trudeau, get out of here. What, again, Canada has lost as a credibility. So with that, Trudeau can go anywhere. It's simple. Trudeau has a choice. To cancel his trip in Europe right now, to come back to Canada here, and to, uh, to dismiss as a, as a Prime Minister of Canada. He must resign. This guy must resign. That's it. And what about the NDP that support now Trudeau with Jack, their, their, their leader, Jackman Singh? Hey, members of NDP, what are you thinking about? Are you proud to be associated with this guy, a dictator? Sincerely, think about that. Otherwise, you should you, you should wear bags on your, on your head. And about some liberals that, that are still there, are you proud of your kind of chief, your leader? Is it a leader? Canada is back where? In the trash. So Trudeau must resign as soon as possible, get out of Europe, stop giving money to everyone on the planet, and make Canada great again by doing that. Please make us a favor, resign. So to support my freedom news, freedom news network, 
that I'm building it. I'm not alone. We're a team, and it's beginning is is beginning to be uh, uh, bigger and bigger. So you can give us uh, some donation about it, and uh, it's just a beginning for us. And uh, we'll we'll be the media that won't won't talk freely about that in Quebec province right now. They don't talk about it, but I did, and I will. And this is the main goal of this of this network, uh, news network of news, but information, varieties, and freedom of speech. Our core value is the freedom, and that's why I'm here. That's why we're here, and that's why we, you're listening this network news. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. See you later.